Hello YouTube. It's Stuart and I've been meaning to make this video for a while now. Uh, I know I spoke to you about this three weeks ago, Dave, and I said I said I'd not go very soon, but uh, I don't know, sometimes things get in the way and but it actually gave me a bit more time to to do a bit of research, a bit of, a bit of extra research. And I haven't done a lot of research on it now. I, I, I think yeah, it was probably best that I actually gave it a bit longer to before I grew up. But um, before I, I actually get into the video, I just want to give a shout out to a couple of people. Um, first person is Court, Court Phobius. You're making a, a social anxiety tribute video at the moment, which I think is a great idea. Um, I know you've been working on it for a while. And at the moment, I just put on the finishing touches to it from what I can see. So I can't wait to see what it turns out like. It should be interesting and uh, fair play to you for doing it. Um, it takes a lot of work, I'd imagine, to put a video like that together. So well done, and I just wanted to give you a quick mention just to say that I think it's what you're doing is great. And the second person that I wanted to give a shout out to is Lena, that real pretty girl. I um, just wanted to thank you for giving me a mention in your last video. And just for giving everybody a mention really, you know, just for taking the time out to to make a video and, and just, you know, acknowledging everybody who's who's helped you and, and who's, who's looking out for you. It's like that's, you know, especially when you were going through a hard time yourself. Uh, you know, you were, you, you were struggling there and, you know, people are giving you, people are, and people are out there looking out for you and I'm looking out for you and, and I just hope that the cloud is lifted and you're feeling a bit, a bit better and things are starting to look a bit brighter for you anyway, you know. I'm sure they will do because you're a great girl, you know, and uh, and and you hit the gym as well. So all these things are going to help, you know. And um, hopefully get over the worst of it anyway. But this video is really um, about medication and what medications are out there for people who... Who have social anxiety and what's the best medication to take under the circumstances um, and I've done a lot of research and, and I've trawled through at this stage hundreds of pages on, on the subject you know and I think the first thing I should talk about is the SSRIs because uh, obviously when you start researching medication the first thing you, you the, the first the first medication you, you kind of you can't avoid really it's the SSRIs because they're, they're that's the medication that's being prescribed to most people out there at the moment anyway. And you know, I've been on so many different forums and but this is an unbiased view. I'm not I'm not um knocking any medication, I'm just giving you findings really what I found and what, what people are generally saying. And it's something I've I've always known anyway. SSRIs generally don't work for people with social anxiety and the reason is is that they don't hit the receptors in the brain that they need to hit. Uh, SSRIs were originally um, manufactured for people with depression but the pharmaceutical companies what they did was they thought right we can kill two boys with one stone here and we can make an, an, an absolute killing in the process making it you know it's a billion it's a billion dollar uh, industry, the pharmaceutical uh, business and particularly in the stressful world that we live in nowadays there's more people turning to the likes of uh, SSRIs to, to help with their problems you know and I suppose the pharmaceutical companies say to themselves well look even though it's uh, these types of medication are were originally manufactured to treat depression, they also treat social anxiety, but they don't read really because it's in the name really, the SSR really, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Serotonin is, if your serotonin levels are low, this generally equates to you having low moods and depression and developing depression. But social anxiety, it doesn't work that way. Obviously if you have social anxiety, you can develop reactive depression because you've had, you have social anxiety and then you have, you have a, you've got two issues to deal with then. But with a lot of people with social anxiety, it's not depression, it's not the primary problem. 
which is why SSRIs don't work. They can work indirectly because obviously if you get a lift from taking a medication and the associated depression you have, or even if you have an underlying the problem with depression as well, it's going to help. It's going to give you a lift. And just giving you that little lift, it's going to help you look at your social anxiety with, with a different with a different outlook and you're going to have a more um, improved outlook on, on thinking that you might be able to beat it. And you won't feel so pessimistic about the situation. And that's great, but, you know, that's an indirect um, benefit that some people get from taking SSRIs. But if you actually weigh up the side effects of SSRIs as well over the long term, uh, the general consensus of the, the benefits that, from what I've been reading, um, SSRIs, most people seem to go through a whole load of them before they realise that it's not working for them, you know, it's, uh, they do, they, they've given it a fair shot. And unfortunately, doctors and psychiatrists nowadays, they just take the information that they're given from the pharmaceutical companies. And it's... Like the pharmaceutical companies have their, 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 their salesmen out there who are, who are um, constantly paying visits to, to, um, to psychologists and saying, oh, this is the latest one out on the market now, with less side effects, absolutely fantastic, helps people with social anxiety, no end, etc, etc. Now, obviously, so, uh, psychologists um, do their own research as well, but they can only work with what they have to work with. And at the current time, most psychologists are only working with SSRIs. And this is the problem because there's medications out there, all the study medications, that actually do work better for, for, for social anxiety, but psychologists won't prescribe them. Mainly because, well, there's, there's, there's two reasons in my opinion. The first reason is because many of them um, prefer to prescribe what they consider to be less harmful medications, what they consider to have less side effects. But a lot of these psychologists have never taken these medications, so you know they don't really they don't really understand the side effects. I don't think anyway. But they will prescribe an SSR and, and they say this is what you need. But for people with social anxiety, the problem is is that the GABA and dopamine receptors in the brain the, these levels are not adequate for people with social anxiety. Not to say you don't have problems with serotonin and noradrenaline as well, but the, the flight or, 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 or flight response that we we feel when we're in social situations, that fear response where you just feel your whole body being enveloped with a, a, a really strong anxiety and you feel like you could be in panic attack mode. That oftentimes is due to a lack of GABA in the brain. Um, and GABA it keeps you relaxed in, situa in stressful situations. It helps you to keep um, to have a rational viewpoint on things and to evaluate situations in, 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 a, in a rational way where you're not just... Because when you have these physical symptoms, obviously what happens is that just takes over, and, uh, and I've, I've been there, God, hundreds if not thousands of times, where when you're in the situation, and you get this flood of anxiety, no amount of rational thinking is going gonna, is gonna to get you to calm down and, and get you out of it. You might suffer through it, but you're just going to be in an absolute state at the end of it, you know? But if you have um, adequate GABA dopamine levels in the brain, you know, you stand a much better chance of coping in situations that cause you extreme anxiety. But SSRIs and SNRIs don't work on these receptors, which is why they're generally ineffective. That's why I want to go on to the, 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 the research I have done. There's one medication that keeps them coming up all the time. It's an MAR1 inhibitor and it's called NARD. And it seems to work for people, 80% of the people, I've traveled through so many threads now at this stage and you know the amount of people who are given positive feedback about this particular type of medication is mind boggling. There are side effects. As with every medication, there's sexual side effects, there's a uh, the biggest side effect seems to be insomnia. Uh, a lot of people find it hard to get to sleep, but 
you can take some herbal stuff with that, you know, Mel melatonin, there's other things, you can, you can get around the side effects, and the side effects only last for a couple of months anyway, um, and they're not worse than the side effects of SSRIs, you know, but the reason why psychiatrists and doctors won't prescribe this type of medication is because there's a food interaction list, um, there's some foods that you can't eat with, um, you can't eat certain types of cheese, and you can't certain types of salami. There's you know, not, not really the sort of feels that you're on a miss really, you know, unless you're a cheese or holic, well then you might have a problem, but um No, I mean if you're if you're fairly if you're fairly yeah uh, if you don't mind a couple of fields, and it's only a small field list anyway, if you don't mind not leaving them off your off your daily food intake, well then you're fine, you know, you won't have any 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 reactions. But you can't drink um, you can't drink beer either. And you can't drink uh, wine. So you just have to turn into uh, a spirit wine or a wine or a spirit alcoholic, you know? Just drink vodka or something, but that's gonna be hard for a lot of people. But this medication, it seems that really when 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 everything else has failed and people are absolutely um distraught and they just don't know where to turn. Some people who have done their research have gone and a lot of people they, 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 they go and say look I tried everything else can I try an idol and because of the food restriction and this um, doctors and psychiatrists they just want to cover themselves they don't want anything where somebody come back and say to them look you prescribed the medication that was potentially dangerous dangerous things well every medication is dangerous really it just depends on how clued up you are how careful you are when you're taking medications and how you and what, what kind of lifestyle you have around that as well. And when Ardle, um people are saying it's it's black and white. From how they felt beforehand to, to how they felt within two months. It does take um usually six weeks to kick in. But so many so much good feedback that we've read off the internet, people saying, Look, when you tried all the SSRIs and you tried everything else, go and ask your psychiatrist to be out in Ardle. And if any of you are out there, right, and you are really struggling at the moment, and you don't know where to turn, and you've tried a lot of stuff, and you're not getting any benefits out of it, go and see your GP. And if he won't prescribe it to you, go and see a psychiatrist. And if he won't prescribe it to you, th 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 probably two out of three psychiatrists won't prescribe it to you. Because they're just not that cleared up on, on there, because it's an older style. MAOI, it, it was approved by the FDA in 1959, it's one of the oldest out there. But it's apparently the most effective. And at the end of the day, if you can try something without going through everything else, or haven't gone through everything else, that's going to make a massive difference in your life. It'll be worth the side effects. And they do dissipate, apparently, for most people after a couple of months. You know, if you want to have a life where you're not evaluating every situation and every conversation you have with people, um, what have you got to lose, you know? Because... A lot of doctors out there will, will try to make you take three or four or five SSRIs. No. Just say, look, if you, if, if you try one SSRI and it doesn't work for you, the chances are that they're not going to work for you. You're just wasting your time, you know? Just cut to the chase and say to the psychiatrist, the GP, I want to try an idol. If they say no, say, okay, and just go and find somebody who will prescribe it. Because there's a lot of cleared up psychiatrists out there who know what works for social anxiety. And if you go in and you're cleared up of error as well, and you sit down and have a rational conversation with them and say, look, I know what I need to try here. I, I know what I feel will work for me. And you know, and, and, and they're cleared up on that as well. The chances are that they will prescribe it for you. And you can build your dose up slowly. Um, now, I'm not preaching here that I know it all, or, 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 or I, uh, just because I've done my research, I know what I'm talking about here. I just know what I've read. And what I've read is that 80% of people here who are on here have taken Ardle from the threads that I've, that, that I've read are, are very, very happy with it. There's a few who it hasn't worked for, but compared to SSRIs, I mean, we're talking night and day in terms of the difference in, in, in how well Ardle works. But I'm running out of time. I'll speak more about this in another video, but um, if you're really struggling, go and see about getting some Ardle and see if it works for you. Take care. Bye.